Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. So April 13, Thursday, our market drop 20.55 points are down 0.31% to close at 6,448.87 value turnovers at 4.7 billion pesos. So there's nothing going on with our market. Uh, when the market opened kanina, uh, Ali dropped 4%, 5%. Everyone's looking, what's going on, di ba? And end of the day, uh, it recovered. But it looks like someone's rebalancing this early. Remember that there's an MSCI rebalancing on May. And uh, price action uh, comes first before the announcement. Uh, same way with with how GTCAP were sold before, no? yung downgrade siya sa MSCI. Uh, nauuna muna yung galaw, some funds are already uh, positioning ahead of the official announcement. So, nga, yeah, no? our market drop no? following weaker US market sentiments. Uh, investors also digested yung news sa US. And yung nga, sabi naman ni BSP governor that is looking to pause uh, rate hike. No? Tapos, tapos after nyan, pag nag, uh, sa slowdown na inflation, uh, is looking to cut interest rate naman after. Anyway, uh, good day for us. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about Nickel Asia on that huge block sale. We were right. We don't discuss stocks ng umhakyat. ba? I've been talking about Nickel Asia since what? 520, 530. I have my shares there. No? I'm not just I'm not hyping it for you guys to buy or what, no. But sabi ko, if you're looking to buy uh mining stock, why will you buy a mining company who's not yet earning? Ba? I'd rather buy uh uh Nickel Asia. They're already making money. They're the number one nickel producer in our country. And they're venturing into renewables, two in one. Diba? Walang, ano, just, uh, yesterday there was a huge block sale. And this morning when they announced that uh, yung buyer ng huge block sale, around 1.4 billion, it was GSIS. It's a vote of confidence. And they're looking at Nickel Asia or ESG investments angle. No? Uh, and in terms of growth, they're looking. Uh, to grow Nickel Asia to belong to the top 25 uh, company in the PSE in terms of market cap. So, long way to go. But congratulations to our holders. Sabi ko yesterday, gold rush. It's just a matter of shift. Uh, it's a good day after Holy Week para sunod-sunod yung gains natin. Of course, I have some uh, shares that I traded but core shares intact here. No, in Nickel Asia. Kaya, no? Uh, wala. So, if you also, if you are also following the regional news, uh, in Indonesia, they just listed their biggest IPO, which is, uh, a company that is involved in Nickel. No? It surged after it listed in the Indonesian exchange. So anyway, GSIS invested in Nickel Asia as they're looking uh, for ways to lengthen its fund life through viable investment opportunities. Of course, nakikita nila na malakas ang Nickel Asia and there's a potential for it to be included in the index or PSEI. So you buy a stock before it will be added sa index, not when it will be announced. Diba? Nauna na tayo. Uh, congratulations also to Cebu Landmaster, no? After posting a net income of around 3.17 billion, which is 32% higher year on year. Unfortunately, property names are not doing well in this kind of market. No? Nahulog ng 5.32%. So, they are also venturing into tourism in, with their uh, uh, hotel uh, business. 
ayan, sabi naman ni BSP Governor Felipe Medalla, they're looking to cut uh, interest rates if inflation eases in the next five months. So, next year pa yan. Lopez also, no, the company owned by the Lopez has delivered, dating Ben Presto, no, delivered the net income of around 5.4 billion last year, which is up 254% year on year uh, due to continued recovery. No? But unfortunately, sabi nga, this is the kind of the market sentiments. Lopez has doesn't go well under Marcos administration. Diba? So, even abs even is the is a laggard. Of course, Apex and Felix is now trading at overbought levels. So some pullbacks there. Our passcode is Nickel Asia. Diba? Thank you no, for listening. Diba? By the rich also reached a net income of around 129 million uh, last year, which is up 44% year on year. Unfortunately, Yeah, it's a boring business. Chicken. Ayala Land Logistics also launched their fifth industrial estate in Batangas, which is intended uh, for light, medium, and non-polluting industries for both locals and global markets. No, industrial parks are really booming in, time, in, in this kind of environment. No? E-commerce, Shopee, Lazada, everyone's buying uh, online. Of course, Mary Mart already digested the news na Hindi na siya priority ni INJAP. This is also the reason na uh, it's now trading near its IPO levels. We all know naman INJAP is busy with his Hotel 101 Ventures. Kaya pinabayaan muna si Mary Mart. No? There might be a good re-entry there if the opportunity comes. But I'm not really buying this. Even at 1 peso, it's overvalued. No? Uh, if you really want to... Uh, no? Of course, it went, to, it went to as high as 8 pesos uh, on speculation news. But that's it. Fundamentally wise, even at 1 peso, mahal talaga. No? Uh, unless they've changed their business model uh, and venture into rising industries such as fintech. No? Uh, recently, they bought a brokerage firm, no? Dragon Fee, which is now operational and they're looking for more acquisitions. AGI posted net income of uh, around 25.2 billion, which is up 6% year on year. Walang katapos ang buyback program ito. It's always undervalued and there's a reason why. So, they own the franchise of McDonald's, Mega World, and other ventures, no? MRSGI, uh, net income exceeds pre-pandemic levels to around 900 million uh, in 2022. Driven mainly by the resumption of economic activity. Robinson's Land is also launching its fourth condominium building in Uh, Ortigas Avenue in Rizal. No? So, the price action, of course, it's now trading at 14-ish. No? They have a buyback program of around 9 billion. They already consummated around close to 4 or 5 billion. They have more. Meralco may source more of requirements for their wholesale uh, electricity spot market and increase offtake from existing uh, service agreements. No? Why I don't know. By the way, no SIM card registration, I think this month lang, but uh, these telcos, no, PLDT Globe and Dito, are urging the government to extend SIM card registration uh, due to struggle to obtain uh, nga, kulang pa rin, no? good intention, bad execution. No? Uh, marami pa rin naman scammers dyan, and nga, there are still people uh, selling free registered credit cards. No? Hirap yan. EI, no, by the way, is providing an additional funding of around 1.27 billion to their subsidiaries for both ongoing and future projects. So, there. Not much going on. But yun nga, no? Sabi nga, every day. May kinikita tayo. Nickel Asia naman today. We buy before everyone's buying, no? Na may, may position tayo dyan. By the way, GT Cap, no? their Toyota Motor Philippines, which is one of their subsidiaries, led vehicle sales this uh, first quarter with around 45,000 units sold and a market share of 46.47%. I'm looking for GT Cap pre-entry pa. No? It's now dropping for 80-something. 
siguro pag nahulog ng 400, 405, 410, hindi natin mas, ma, masalo yung low eh. But uh, that's, if, that's the price I'm looking. Kung hindi, okay lang naman. There's always opportunity uh, elsewhere. RLC, MP, ay, Emperador, AP, AGI. So yun, no? again, uh, shout out to our listeners. No? Daming nakikinig sa channel na to. Please continue sharing this channel. Uh-huh. Talagang bumbler nga. Nauuna tayo sa galaw. Grabe. Swerte naman natin. WM, Gilbert Travisan, Isaiah Rel Resho, LOD, Jennifer, Blueberry, John Edison Aquino, Rugin, De Los Reyes, Jason Chan, J. Tan, J.D., Choi, Oliver Wendelgo, Rian Santos. No? Again, thank you very much for listening. No? There's a question here in in our chat box. Unfortunately, sabi nga, uh, we don't answer questions until we reach 100,000 subscribers. So if you really want this, continue sharing this channel no? para marami tayong lumaki tong channel natin. We grow this channel. Thank you very much for listening. Stay safe. Bye!